Welcome to War Tales impression video, you warring bastards. This video is sponsored by Shiro Games. As always, sponsorship doesn't affect my opinion and I will always aim to be as honest as possible with my viewers so you can have a clear idea of what I think about positives and negatives of any game. I've spent almost 20 hours with beta version which was active couple of weeks prior to release date. Some things were not yet implemented, game had bugs and crash issues which led to inability to progress effectively and uncover all game has to offer. That being said, game is entering early access on December 1st, so there is plenty time to fix it all. I'm sure through early access that lots of stuff should be patched. I do hope developer continues to improve the game, because even through all the aforementioned problems I had a blast. It is one of those games that from outside look like a grandma's car, but when you peek under the hood it has 500 horsepower that is gonna lead to tons of fun. So what is War Tales? It is party turn-based RPG with survival elements in which you travel around, discover quests, meet new people, take active part in solving problems plaguing each region and of course battle it out. Now that you hear this it might sound like nothing special and I agree. Problem is with some games it is very hard to describe feeling player has while playing the game because bunch of stuff is so well implemented and hard to bring to the viewers. I will try though. Let's start with the world and how player interacts with it. Setting is somewhat medieval and quite realistic with occasional fantasy element to mix things up. Your goal is to survive while uncovering everything you can about the world. Soon you will understand how dangerous that goal is due to brigands and wild animals challenging the party frequently while battling with starvation and finances. What makes the game so interesting are all the elements combined into producing realistic and tough challenge. Realistic considering the setting. Player's party background is determined at the beginning of the game. Based on party history, available options are bandits, farmers, deserters, hungry adventurers and merchant escort. Each option comes with upsides and downsides that can be further modified. For example, bandits start off with high suspicion so at the beginning they need to stay low abiding or marshals on the map will attack. These are not easy fights, so for such starting group it would mean quick demise. Upside is that bandits start with decent amount of money, so they can take it a bit easier when it comes to stealing and paying companions. World offers plenty resources, fights and opportunities, but it is up to a player to determine when the party is ready for additional push to hunt for resources, food and money. Every little acquisition matters because it can be sold or used in crafting. Having anything in abundance in War Tales is hard to accomplish because everything is frequently used. Money is needed every 3 days to pay companions or they will become unhappy and leave. More people recruited means more chance to succeed in fights due to a larger party but also requires more food and money. More companions means less personal space which also leads to less happiness. There are ways to offset happiness, for example by accumulating lots of food, giving companions booze, resting at the inn. Decent system that prevents having insanely large parties. World map consists of regions, with each region having its own backstory or scenarios as they are called here. To get to next region you have to complete scenario. For example, first region is about conflict between refugees and citizens, where situation is on edge. Refugees are trying to survive, but it comes at a cost for citizens, since their lives are now disturbed. You need to pick a side and deal with the situation by solving these scenarios which come in parts. War Tales shines when it comes to mechanics. Traveling on world map has couple. Camping is classic one where party crafts and rests. Camp can be upgraded by fighting and crafting new recipes. Besides yours, there are many other groups traveling. On roads mostly merchants and lawmen are found. With each group you can interact. Merchants can be attacked and robbed for example. By doing so suspicion rises. Depending on the action, suspicion may rise by small or high amount and if it goes too high or if you steal many things in short period of time party becomes wanted. On world map that means avoiding sheriffs by going off-road. 
in the forest part is hidden, but it is also home of many dangerous things. You could go crazy with stealing and murdering, which would unlock black market and assassination contracts faster. This leads me to paths. Each action, be it fighting, trading, stealing, progresses one path that unlocks further options. Eventually, you will unlock everything through normal game progression, and they mostly serve as additional help. It is on you what is going to be focused more, though. In the version of War Tales I have played, lots of paths features still had coming soon tags, so don't know to what extent paths can go. Nice rewarding addition for players that stay true to certain playstyle. Interaction with places on the world map is quite interesting. Upon reaching a destination, a view changes. Towns have places of interest like Town Hall, Forge, Inn, Marketplace. These places open up new possibilities like hiring more companions, crafting, trading, accepting contracts and such. Simple but effective. Besides towns, there are plenty other smaller locations that tell different stories. Usually a couple NPCs are there to interact. Some offer quests, some information and last but not least you can just rob the place. Committing crimes like attacking merchants, robbing and stealing increases suspicion. After stealing many things in short time frame, robbing merchants, selling too much of stolen stuff, party becomes wanted so every guard party on the road will chase and attack if you aren't prepared to pay and return all of the stolen goods. To avoid them you can hide in the forest, but forests are dangerous. Suspicion system changed during beta for the better and this might not be final version or the one that will stay. It might get better, but so far it is alright. Simple and effective like most of War Tales. Crafting is important part of War Tales. There are many professions like miner, cook, blacksmith, angler, tinkerer, etc. Each profession raises stat, so dexterity based classes shouldn't be blacksmiths, because that profession raises strength. Reason why crafting is important is because many merchants don't offer much variety when it comes to equipment. Usually one weapon and one armor, but each equipment merchant sells different ones at least. That being said, crafted equipment helps tremendously, as you always have option to craft as many pieces as needed. I like crafting, because yet again it is simple and effective. Gathering resources in this world doesn't come easy, same like crafting level advancement, but it is crucial and such implementation makes sense considering world and setting. Now we come to combat and character progression customization. There is nice variety of classes in War Tales. Archer, Ranger, Spearman, Warrior, Swordmaster and Brute are the ones I have discovered so far. Each comes with its own progression system where they specialize in what type of armor they can wear and which special ability they can use. Progression is alright, but could be a lot better. There aren't that many options. Every class gets same options at level 2 and at level 3 comes major decision. System also seemed incomplete at the time I was playing, but that might be due to lack of progression on my part. Part I didn't like is fixed start leveling, meaning every level up game picks 3 stats you can level up with 1 times 2 option. This prevents customization to a degree. What surprised me positively when it comes to character customization are weapons. Each weapon type has different subtypes with different basic attacks. For example, from swords, Ulbert sword, Smithar and default sword each have different basic attack, changing playstyle somewhat. That goes for every weapon type, be it bows, spears, great swords, maces, axes, daggers. You might think without addition of fantasy elements that game like this might be boring or uninteresting, but it is quite the opposite. A realistic setting without need to go over the top set well with me, and I was connected to my companions and tried my best to keep them alive. If someone wasn't equipped properly, thinking twice about entering a fight was frequent occurrence. Combat is turn based and it utilizes simple mechanics but lots of them make sense. What I really like is importance of positioning, be it starting placement or movement during combat. Most obvious example is when aiming with Archer. If there is anyone in between Archer and its target even a little bit, there is a chance Arrow would hit that target instead of the initial one, so Archers need to work with angles all the time. Considering number of classes, character progression, different weapon attacks and special abilities, combat offers more than enough tactical options. Weapon attack variety can range from increasing damage done if there is teammate next to wielder, double attack if crit is scored on first one, destabilization that negates guard for one round and guard is stat that reduces damage taken and so on. Cool thing is that there are no restrictions what kind of party you'd like. Want all two handed wielders with tons of armor? No problem. Want all rangers to poison everyone and then laugh as they receive 20 damage per round? Done. 
What I absolutely love is the option to capture animals and people in combat. If animal is captured, it becomes companion that can fight and level up. Also, no restrictions on how many you can have. Prisons offer money if you bring in captured bandits. I think you have the idea by now that on surface simple game like War Tales might not seem like anything special, but there are so many small mechanics that make sense and are implemented correctly so the game becomes better and better as you play more and uncover all of it. I honestly couldn't stop playing. 20 hours flew by like it was nothing. The way you struggle in this game makes so much sense with each victory granting that great feeling of satisfaction, be it combat victory, amassing resources, crafting armor, learning recipe. Game does need more work on it to achieve its potential and thankfully they realize that, which is why game is going into early access first. It is buggy in beta and lots of features have it is buggy in beta and lots of features have coming soon tag. War Tales also lack proper tutorial, but thankfully players should figure things out quickly on their own. Sound effects during combat are lacking. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, which adds to hollow effect when striking enemies. There are combat finishers which I absolutely love, but would prefer way more finishing moves than this, so combat remains interesting for longer. War Tales is a game that surprised me positively. Didn't expect it would hook me so easily, especially without fantasy elements in this type of setting. It is a solid game that can be much more with more layers of polish, bug squash and adjusted character progression, which is gonna come through early access. I definitely recommend this project because it is good now, but it can be much better after the early access. That would be all. Thanks for watching.